Hello everybody, this is Andrew Roboto 2021 here and welcome to Five Nights at Nintendo Land Recoded where this is pretty much an updated slash remastered version. Well actually not remastered. It's this is pretty much an updated version of the original Five Nights at Nintendo Land made in 2015, released by Frosties. This version though is made by Simone. Um, it was released back in 2022. And I downloaded it that year, but I never got around to playing it until I came across Cool Man 61's walkthrough of how to play it. So I'm going to play it, dive into it, and play it, because I figure why not, because I've played this game, like, so many times. <laughs> so without further ado, we'll start a new game. We'll see what's out for for us. Oh, we get tips this time. Hide in the shed if anyone is near you. Okay. So that's one thing new about the recoded version. We get tips. It's actually pretty cool. Control hey man, for the Okay, so the phone guy is the same, and pretty much the whole gameplay is the same. As with um, the original Finance Nintendo Land, as well as Finance Nintendo Land Revamp, which is a remastered version of the first, the original game. This is pretty much an updated version. And just like with the other games, there's really no need to check the camera except for when you're dealing with Sonic. I see something I thought I saw somewhere there. And just like in the other two Nintendo Land games I've played, you're outside in the rain, pretty much getting pneumonia. Seriously, no employee should have to be forced to work out in like the rain, work in the rain, in, especially if it's sub zero degrees outside. Cause, cause not only would you get pneumonia, but you could also get frostbite and hypothermia. Okay, I haven't seen anyone yet, so maybe 9-1 is just a freebie or something, and we just take the time to get used to the place. I don't know. Because in some Final Fantasy Freddy's fan games, and this is like this Final Fantasy Freddy's 3, 9-1 is a freebie where you just, you're not dealing with anybody. You just take the time to get used to the place and explore the mechanics. Okay, I see Pikachu on the camera. He hasn't came, though, yet. So, I don't know. Maybe this is a freebie. Who knows? Alright, so 9 1 was a freebie apparently. Did not deal with Pikachu or anybody. Okay. Another thing new about this game is that there's we don't have to worry about writing down passwords in on a piece of paper like you had to do in the original game. As well as Five Nights of Smuggers 1. That's another game where you had to write down passwords. 
Right, let's off Burial. Let's take on Night 2. Let's see what's on for us. Tips, use the light if you hear anything coming toward you. Oh, another tip. Okay. So throughout the night, we're going to be getting tips. So that's actually helpful. Hey there, man. I know I said I wouldn't call you tonight, but I found a really weird article about that building you watched at night. Uh, yeah, anyway, I'll run through the story with you. So basically, some child got there for his friend's birthday party. Uh, but while he was there, he went outside of the show stage and he went over to a room which no one's allowed to go into. Not even the employees, actually. Anyway, after that, the family noticed he wasn't there, so they contacted the guard. Uh, they looked all over the building until they realized that he was inside that room. So they told the family that they couldn't do anything about it. And the family, obviously concerned as they were, contacted the police. But once they arrived, they said they couldn't do anything about the situation. That's really weird, right? Anyway, I'm sure it's just a stupid made up story. I'll see you later. And in case you hear that, there is a plane outside in the, outside in the background. In case, in case you hear that, there's a plane going by outside. It's one of those rare things that happens when I'm making a video. And the tips reminds me, I, I'm wondering if when Pikachu and Luigi come, we're going to hear like ruffling in the bushes like a Meta Knight. Because the, the tip I was given was, flash the light if you hear a sound. Which is what I'm doing. I haven't seen them so far, so that's good. It's only 3 a.m. and nobody's came. This is so interesting. Wonder if they start off slow, then move faster. Cause I'm looking at my cameras and I haven't seen any sight of them. Oh, there's Meta Knight. These knights are pretty fast like with the other two finest of Nintendo Land games I've played. Pikachu. Okay, so another thing new about the recoded version is that um when 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 you hear footsteps when you're dealing with like Pikachu or Luigi or Mario, then it means they left. Which wasn't in the original game or the, uh, the revamp. Very interesting. It's helpful, though, because then you'll know when they're leaving. Night 2 completed. There we go. First two nights, easy as expected. Now on to night 3, and let's see what's that for us. 
tips. He is too fast to use the white on. Instead, close the door. Yeah, I know what that tip is talking about. Sonic. For Sonic, you have to lock the door when you hear him spinning. Hey, Max. How's it going tonight? Uh, yeah, I'm sorry for calling you again tonight. I know I said I wouldn't, but the workers at Nintendo who set up this job, they said that they tried to call you but couldn't get a hold of you. So they told me to tell you that they put a new feature into your tablet. Uh, and they said they were going to do this a bit more over the next few nights. I honestly don't really see why. This place is empty and old ass, right? <laughs> anyway, I'll leave you to it. Alright, so I'm definitely ready to deal with Sonic for Night 3. Didn't have to deal with Meta Knight on Night 2, which is weird, because with Night 1, you're only doing with Pikachu. Night 2, you're dealing with Meta Knight. Night 3 is, um... Sonic and Luigi, and then Night 4, you're dealing with, um, Mario. Oops, Sonic. Gotta lock the door. There you Oh, Meta Knight. There you go. Got rid of him. Yeah, I think Luigi you deal with on night four. I might be wrong on that. Mario night five. I could be wrong, but I think it's one or the other. Because I haven't seen Luigi yet. It's a good thing this game has bug fixes, because the original game had some bugs in it. Like, Luigi's jump scare had a bug in it, where if he jump scared you, he stayed on the screen for a long time. Pikachu. Thankfully, you don't have to stay in the shed for too long when you're dealing with Pikachu, Luigi, and Mario. So that's actually a good thing.
And night three completed. There we go. All right, so we will take on night four in the next video. Thank you for watching, everybody. Please hit the like button, also comment, and subscribe. I appreciate all the support you've given me. Hit the bell to receive all notifications of upcoming videos on my channel. Be sure to follow me on TikTok and hit the bell to receive all notifications on there as well of upcoming videos. And until then, I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.